Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for this special live session. I'm Itzi Kamiel, and we are here with a weekly Switch series, Switch It On, where we share ideas, insights, and inspiration to helping you as a professional to switch relationships to revenue, referrals, and a reputation, and stand out. And you are invited. So if you're watching now, I'm here live with you, especially for you. So please join me and play in the club, in the LinkedIn Live. And please put your name and where you're dialing from in the chat so we all know who you are, where you're dialing from, so we'll be able to share it with all our audience around the world. Because today, today we're going to talk about a very important subject. Today we're going to talk about client retention and loyalty. And specifically about the... Why client loyalty is declining and what your firm or you can do about it. So I want to welcome all of you there joining me right now. Diana, Revio, Doveli, Andrea, Bestov, Gustavo, Mari, Mauriano, Odro, Manuela, Tefini. Uh, all you, I mean, all of you there, all over the world. Please dial in, put your name in the chat. I know who you are. So we'll be able uh, to see you that you're here with me in the room. See, Various studies point in the same direction. If you really look around, you could see it. The client loyalty is disappearing in a hurry. Client put less trust in the firm brands and tend to switch brands a lot faster. And I have a lot of proof that many of the lawyers, accountants, and other professionals I help around the world with that. If you're not aware of it, you better wake up over there. Because in fact, the famous 80-20 rule, if you know that one, 20% of the client account for 80% of the turnover has turned into maybe even 60-40 rules. 40% of the client generates 60% of your firm turnover. But it's slowly evolving maybe toward the 50-50 rule. Do you know what does it mean? It really means that loyal and disloyal clients, and your, and your firm, of course, are or will generate the same amount of income. So that's a very important question that influences directly the business development and how do you bring your practice forward? And also the strategies and effort you and your practice have to ask. Questions like, should you invest less in client retention and loyalty? Or should you invest more? Do you have an answer to that question? And this is what I want to, to do in this episode, to answer for you, my friends, this specific question. But first, I think I owe you to define the most important thing is what is client retention? And before that, those of you who join me over there, thank you very, very much. Please you put your name in the chat. Where are you dialing from? I know you are with me. So don't be shy. Put your name in the chat box that you are with me. And today, as you see, we're speaking about client retention and loyalty. So the first question I want to ask is, what is client retention? So in order to be all of us in the same place, I would say client retention is the activity of a firm to reduce the number of client defections, right? And one of the ways to accelerate it is by increasing client loyalty. That's where you get clients staying with you for the longer term. But before I go deeper to explain Oh, thank you very much, Rajesh and Alex. I mean, you can do it in the chat, by the way. Don't worry. You can put your name in the chat. Nothing happened. Again, I'm speaking about client retention. Loyalty, those of you right now, I am live on LinkedIn and will be happy to answer any question later on that you have about this subject. So let's start by setting the stage, if you allow me. Also in the professional industry, we are talking about the brand paradox. Those of you who heard me speaking on stages, on your firm, you know, I'm talking about it a lot. Because on the one hand, it's no surprise that brand loyalty is on the vein. See, apart from the same exception, top professional firm brands aren't able really to retain their status as a market leader as long as they used to. And I promise you, they maybe think like that, but that's not the case. On the other hand, clients do tend to attach themselves to certain professional firm brands. And that's exactly the brand paradox. In fact, Research even shows that clients are prepared to commit to a professional firm brand as long as they provide a clear added value to the client. So yes, even in professional services, some clients have an emotional attachment, if you want, 
to specific professional firm brands. Take, for example, the big four accounting firm that, you know, many of the people tend to stay with them for a long time. So as a result, loyalty to these firms is almost self-evident, if you want. In other words, this is the brand paradox in the professional service industry today because people like specific firm brands while putting less trust in brands in general. You see? And that makes it a bit confusing to a lot of us. So based on that, the next question is, why clients' loyalty is down in the professional industry? And I'm not sure if you have the answer to that. I'm going to give it to that. Again, thank you for all of you joining me. Feel free to put your name in the chat so I know you are with me here. And again, I'm speaking to those of you joining right now about client retention, a loyalty, very important subject nowadays, especially when we're going out of the corona period, that a lot of client retention should be held on to your firm. And I'm glad that you found the time to join me. So let me ask again the first question. Why client loyalty is down in a professional industry? Think about a second about your question to the or your answer to this question. Because there are actually several causes that explain the declination in client loyalty in the professional firm. And let me share with you a few of them. So number one, rising client expectation. See, firms cannot keep up with a rising client expectation. This is because the client pattern of, of expectation is evolving even faster. And actually in every service industry, clients don't compare a firm to where they were a year ago. No, no, no. Rather, they compare them to other firms, the best in class. And they create expectation across, if you may say, all sectors. Now, now you actually understand why firms with a certain history and an older infrastructure have trouble coping with today's rate of change. Think about it a second. The second reason why client loyalty declined in our industries is transparency. Number two is transparency. The professional world is becoming more and more digital. The fast adoption of digital tools by professionals has further enhanced the transparency in our industry. And the online world has made transparency very accessible. A tent that really spells danger for any professional firm that is not ready or not yet ready for that. You want reason number three? Reason number three for the declination is lack of client experience. Yeah, few professional firms take a holistic approach to client relations. With just one person in charge really of, of every aspect of the client relationships, and many professional firms really around the globe, if you may say, that I help and really train and, and on client relationship. There is a focus of individual touch points instead of a client experience as a whole, as a whole firm. In a recent article I read by Harvard Business Review, McKinsey came that disloyalty, disloyalty of client, is caused by a lack of understanding across the various touch points we just talked about, rather than by a client satisfaction with a single interaction. So that's number, the reason number three of declination of loyalty. Reason number four of loyalty, this declination of our industry is no unique relevance. I think I'll not be mistaken to say that in the professional industry as a whole, too little thought is put into the role a brand, a firm brand, has to play in clients' life. See, the relationship with clients, with professionals, it's too rational in the nature instead of being more emotional. And, you know, I'm, I'm telling you because every other brand, you know, out of the legal market, out of the accounting market, there's emotional attachment to it, right? If you look at Apple or Google or whatever, uh, you have emotional attachment to things. Not in our professional industry. So that's caused direct declination of clients' loyalty. Since they're already saying that a service was not relevant enough for them to remain the client of that firm. So these are actually interesting causes and more and more common our way for the declination of loyalty of clients with our firm. Again, those of you joining me right now, I'm talking about client loyalty and retention. If you have any question, feel free to put it in the chat for me so I can answer it during my session, during the sharing. Otherwise, you can very welcome to stay and listen and be here. And of course, 
if you're joining right now, put your name in the chat and let us know who you are and where you're dialing from. I want to know that I am not here alone. I'm sure I'm not alone, but I want everybody to see that we are here together. And by the way, as you know, it's a very, very easy way for you to brand yourself. Okay, are you ready to proceed? Because I think you see what I'm, I'm trying to, to, the point I'm trying to make is, because if you're listening carefully to what I'm sharing with you, you can see that these four causes of declination of client loyalty all point to the same direction. In fact, digitization has created a really a rift between the client expectation on one hand and what the average firm is offering on the other hand. Or in other words, the ever-increasing transparency in the professional industry is in a turning fast the industry in a, into commodity industry. And the problem with the commodity industry is it's a, there's a high focus on what do you think about price, of course. So before I offer you a solution for that or the right direction to take to think about to get better loyalty of the clients, again, if you have any question, put it in the chat box and I'll answer it as well, okay? So you're probably asking what can be a good solution for that to get escape from this declination of client loyalty, maybe increase it. And the solution is actually very simple. Maybe you know it, maybe you thought about it, maybe you didn't, but it's actually back to basics. Because it's obvious that in today's market, in, if professional firms are to survive, they will not only have to work more efficiently or efficiently, they will also have build a, a need to build a unique added value to their clients, correct? So here are some questions I want you to ask yourself. If you're in the firm or it's your own firm, what is your place in your client's life? What is your relevance to the life of your clients? It's a maybe difficult question, maybe not, but think about this question because the answer to this question really provide the basic for finding a new method of connecting with your clients and making them even more loyal to you so you can retain them for a longer time, or I should say for a lifetime. In addition, clients expect professional firms to act properly on three levels. And you can write it down. This is three levels you have to talk about. Level number one, treating the clients well, obviously, right? Because with no doubt, clients primarily expect you or expect from you an excellent and proper treatment. And I think there's no argument about that. But this is another level. Level number two is treating employees well. It is already known that firms that do not treat their employees well or fair will lose clients and fast because clients saying it, not me. The client is saying it. So wake up over there. And level number three, and we all know it's coming more in our way, doing good for society. Clients like firms that have a sound worldview. They expect you as a firm to do good for society and examine you for that. And these are the three levels. Now, only when the story of your firm will be the same on all the three levels of your clients, of your employees, of society, then client will become more loyal to your firm and to the services. And that's a very important point because before that we didn't know, now we understand how to create that to increase this client loyalty that's so important for the retention of your client. So here's my conclusion for you. And again, I encourage you, if you have any question, ask it right now before I end, uh, finish this session of today. But if you have any question about it or you want to go more deeper, let me know. But here's my conclusion. When it comes to client loyalty and client's retention, while client's loyalty is declining, stop trying to solve it through marketing of your firm or services that some marketeer offer us. As you, uh, you can learn in this episode, I didn't talk about marketing. The solution lies at a much deeper level. In other words, you cannot boost client loyalty through a simple marketing trick. Of course not. The solution is not to be found with, with the marketing, or at least not alone. Instead, we should look to the firm leadership. Yeah, that's why it lies down. The firm leadership should have a clear vision of the added value their firm has to offer 
And they should be able to translate that vision for their employees and for the clients. A work, by the way, I help many firm and firm leaders achieve in my training and mentoring with them, since I believe that the first step towards reaffirming client loyalty is getting your story right on every level for the employees, for the client, and even for yourself as a leader of the firm. So to summarize this uh, great session, I love this subject so much. I can talk hours about client loyalty. Let me show you a powerful quote by Chip Bell. And he quote, he said, loyal customers, they don't just come back. They don't simply recommend you. They insist that their friends do business with you. And that's why I want you to think about loyalty of the client as such an important matter that we're not investing enough within our firm and ourselves. And if you take it seriously, if you incur increase the client experience and your story in all three levels in the right way, you will experience client loyalty and you're going to maintain and retain them for a longer time, better than any other firm around because most of them don't even do anything in that direction. So now, my friends, is the time to take action and implement what you have learned in this session. I hope you got some value. I trust you got some interesting insights or ideas and thoughts about how to you know, retain client retention or client loyalty. If you need any, any help in implementing it in your practice or you just want to learn more about how to build winning client relationships, get you results, this is exactly what we do for our clients, professionals like you and me around the world. We train them. We mentor them. I mentor them personally and we're even doing the work for them in the done-for-you services by implementing the strategies in your practice. So send me an email or private message in LinkedIn to me to see if we can help, if we can add value, if you have any question. Next week, we have another amazing top expert to discuss a new practical strategy to grow your practice and build better relationship, reputation, and referrals. If you want to make, your, make sure you're never going to miss one of our weekly uh, Switching On interview series, follow me on LinkedIn or Switch or go to the Switch Hub website. Let me share with you the link. So I love you asking. Here it is, Hub dot the suite dot ch where you can find a lot more information about where you can sign up of course get my business development strategies and tips but also you check and register to one of my new online courses and live workshops i'm doing on a regular basis so if you miss it go there check it out there's a lot of amazing new things coming your way i just released two new courses about networking with results and networking with conference compass networking and conferences which is very important because i give all my clues and strategies i think you would love it and, you, of course, you're welcome to send me a PM or an email to ask any question you may have and want to know more about the subject. And I hope I'll be able to be more value to you and your firm. For now, I want to thank each one of you there that participated, joined me. I know you listened. You didn't have questions. Great. So I hope I was clear. And in any case, you can always watch it again. And I hope to see you again next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central European Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m., Pacific time. And remember, it's never too late to switch on and boost your client loyalty. Bye for now, everybody. Thanks for joining.